Ring one, bucket one. An anxious wait for the start of a new era in physics. Injection. Dumping. Scientists here are thrilled as they send subatomic particles around the Large Hadron Collider for the first time in two and a half years. Deep under the Swiss-French border, the circular accelerator is the size of a small railway line. Tiny particles whiz round 11,000 times every second, close to the speed of light. When they collide, they recreate particles that existed at the very beginning of the universe. These hold the key to how it began and how it all works. In 2012, Peter Higgs wiped away a tear after researchers discovered the particle named after him. It was hailed as one of the most significant discoveries in science. Since then, the giant machine has been upgraded. I watched engineers double the LHC's operating energy. We're hoping to take 10 times as much data and what we're, we would like to do is to then uh, be able to uh, improve our understanding of the Higgs particle and to extend our reach for uh, potential new physics that might be out there and try to catch it. The researchers here are looking for what they call dark matter, thought of as a cosmic tree from which our galaxies, shown in pink, grew like blossoms. So how long before they discover the first hard evidence for it? It could be as early as this year. Summer may be a bit hard, but Late summer, maybe it could be as early as September if we're really lucky. The current theory explains how just 5% of the universe works. Researchers hope they'll soon find evidence of mind-bending new theories that involve extra dimensions, invisible so-called supersymmetric particles, and ones from what researchers call the dark universe. Palak Ghosh, BBC News.